Pescara, Pescara, listen, Abruzzese, Pescare, Pescarese, Piscare, is the capital city of the province of Pescara, in the Abruzzo region of Italy. It is the most populated city in Abruzzo, with 125,717 residents and approximately 450,000 including the surrounding metropolitan area. Located on the Adriatic coast at the mouth of the Aterno Pescara River, the present day municipality was formed in 1927, joining the municipalities of Pescara, the part of the city to the south of the river, and Castellamare Adriatico, the part of the city to the north of the river. The surrounding area was formed into the province of Pescara. The main commercial street of the city is Corso Umberto I, which runs from Piazza della Repubblica and reaches the seacoast at Piazza Primo Maggio. The rectangle that it forms with Corso Vittorio Emanuele II and Via Nicola Fabrizi encloses the main shopping district, where several of the best fashion shops are located. Corso Manthene, the course of the old Pescara, has, for many years, been the center of the nightlife of the city. City Hall and the administration of the province are in Piazza Italia, near the river, and in the area between here and the D'Annunzio University campus to the south, a business district has grown up over the years. To the immediate south of the mouth of the river is the marina. Pescara has also an important international airport called Abruzzo Airport and one of the most important and major touristic ports of Adriatic Sea and Italy, the port of Pescara. Geography Pescara is situated at sea level on the Adriatic coast and has developed from some centuries BC onwards at the strategic position around the mouth of the Aterno Pescara River. The coast is low and sandy and the beach extends, unbroken for some distance to both the north and the south of the river, reaching a width of approximately 140 meters 150 yards, in the area around Pineda to the north. To the south the pine forest that once gave shade to bathers along much of the Adriatic coast, has almost disappeared near the beach, but remains within the nature reserve Pineda Donunziana. The urban fabric of the city spreads over a flat T-shaped area, which occupies the valley around the river and the coastal strip. To the northwest and the southwest, the city is also expanding into the surrounding hills which were first occupied in the Neolithic period. The whole city is affected by the presence of groundwater, the level of which varies by up to a meter, being at its highest in spring due to snow melting in the mountains inland. The city is very close to the mountains, and you can reach the ski slopes of Paso Lanciano in just 30 minutes. Climate Pescara has a borderline Mediterranean climate CSA, and humid subtropical climate CFA, with hot summers and cool winters. Since it has only one summer month with less than 40 mm of rainfall, the city cannot be solely classified as Mediterranean. Not to mention, although there is a dry tendency in early summer, August late summer, is wetter than the winter month of February, which is unusual for the Mediterranean pattern. The average temperature is around 7 degrees Celsius 45 degrees Fahrenheit in the coldest month, January, and 24.5 degrees Celsius 76.1 degrees Fahrenheit in the warmest month, July. The lowest temperature recorded in the city was minus 13 degrees Celsius 9 degrees Fahrenheit on 4 January 1979. The highest was registered on 30 August 2007 at 45 degrees Celsius 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Precipitation is low, around 676 mm .6 in per annum and concentrated mainly in the late autumn. Pescara is a coastal city, but its climate is influenced by the surrounding mountains, the Mayala and the chain of Gran Sasso. When the wind is southwesterly, Pescara experiences a fern wind that often reaches 100 km per hour, 62 miles per hour, causing a sudden increase in temperature and decrease in relative humidity, and for that reason winters with temperatures that exceed 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, almost daily are not unknown. Under northeasterly winds, Pescara suffers precipitation which is generally weak, but can be much more intense if accompanied by a depression. Also from the northeast comes winter weather from Siberia that, on average, brings abundant snowfalls every three to four years. In summer the weather is mostly stable and sunny with temperatures that, thanks to the sea breeze, rarely exceed 35 degrees unless a southwesterly libeccio is blowing. 
particularly in summer, but also in winter, the high humidity leads to morning and evening mist or haze. History Even without a significant historical importance, Pescara's origins precede the Roman conquest. It was founded to be the port of Vestini and Maricini tribes to trade with the peoples of the Orient, a supporting role that was held for centuries. The name of both the town and the river was Aeternum, in Greek Adernos, it was connected to Rome through the Via Claudia Valeria and the Via Tibertina. The main building was the Temple of Jovis Adernium. The town was an important port for trade with the eastern provinces of the empire. In the Middle Ages it was destroyed by the Lombards 597. Saint Setius, the town's patron saint, was a bishop of the 6th century, elected to the see of Amaternum in Sabina, today the city of San Vittorino, in 590, during the pontificate of Gregory the Great. His legend goes that he was executed by the Lombards at Amaternum by being thrown off a bridge with a stone tied around his neck. His body floated to Pescara. In 1095 Pescara was a fishing village enriched with monuments and churches. In 1140 Roger of Sicily conquered the town, giving rise to a period in which it was destroyed by armies ravaging the Kingdom of Sicily. The name of Pescaria, abounding with fish, is mentioned for the first time in this period. Several seniors ruled over Pescara afterwards, including Reynaldo Orsini, Louis of Savoy and Francesco del Borgo, the vicar of King Ladislaus of Naples, who had the fortress and the tower built. The subsequent rulers were the Diavalos. In 1424 the famous condottiero Museo Attendolo died here. Another adventurer, Jacopo Caldora, conquered the town in 1435 and 1439. In the following years Pescara was repeatedly attacked by the Venetians, and later, as part of the Spanish Kingdom of Naples, it was turned into a massive fortress. In 1566 it was besieged by 105 Turk galleys. It resisted fiercely and the Ottomans only managed to ravage the surrounding territory. At the beginning of the 18th century Pescara had some 3,000 inhabitants, half of them living in the Castellamare. In 1707 it was attacked by Austrian troops under the command of the Count of Wallace. The town, led by Giovanni Girolamo II Acquaviva, resisted for two months before capitulating. Pescara was always part of the Kingdom of Naples, apart from the brief age of the Republic of Naples of 1798-99. The town was therefore attacked by the pro-Bourbon Giuseppe Pranio. In 1800 Pescara fell to French troops, becoming an important military stronghold of Joseph Bonaparte's reign. Case de la Mare, which now had 3,000 inhabitants of its own, became a separate municipality. In 1814, Pescara S. Carbonaria revolted against Joachim Murat. There, on 15 May 1815, the king undersigned one of the first constitutions of the Italian Risorgimento. In the following years, Pescara became a symbol of the Bourbon's violent restoration as it housed one of the most notorious Bourbon jails. After a devastating flood in 1853, Pescara was liberated by Giuseppe Garibaldi's collaborator Clemente de Caesaris in 1860. Seven years later the fortress was dismantled. In the 60 following years Pescara was included in the province of Chieti and then merged with the adjacent town of Castellamare Adriatico and eventually became the largest city of its region. The new city received a hard blow during World War II and has since been massively rebuilt, becoming a very modern coastal city of Italy. Main sites The city is divided in two by the river. The historic city center is located on the south shore, where once stood the Piazzaforte, fortified town, a military bulwark of the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. There is the Bono Borbonico, the old prison of the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies, built starting in 1510 by order of Charles V, which incorporated inside the remains of the Norman and Byzantine city walls. Today it houses the Museum of the Abruzzi people. The institution traces, towards 13 halls dedicated to the aspects of life, traditions and economy, 4,000 years of history of the Abruzzo people. In the historic city center are the birthplace houses of Gabriele D'Annunzio and Ennio Flaiano, and the San Siteo Cathedral, built between 1933 and 1938. 
On the north shore of the river there's Piazza Italia, Italy Square, overlooked by the City Hall and the Government Building, which houses the headquarters of the province of Pescara, both built during the fascist era according to the fascist rationalist style and designed by the architect Vincenzo Pallotti. Mr. Pilati designed the majority of the public buildings of the city, including the seat of the local Chamber of Commerce, of the Liceo Classico, G. D'Annunzio, High School, and the old seat of the court, which now houses a museum, in the very south part of the city, between the nature reserve Pineda D'Annunziana and the beach, there is an elegant Art Nouveau Villas district designed in 1912 by Antonino Liberi, an engineer brother-in-law of D'Annunzio. There is also the Orem, first headquarters of a social club called the Cursal, then liquor factory, and today public multipurpose space. In 2007 was built the Ponte del Mare, the largest pedestrian and cycle bridge in Italy. On the northern waterfront, close to the Salado Square, the main square of the city, there is the nave trad, the ship, a sculpture by Pietro Costella. Economy Pescara is the most populous city in the Abruzzo region, and is one of the top ten economic, commercial, and tourist centers on the Adriatic coast. Featuring a shoreline that extends for more than 20 kilometers 12 miles, Pescara is a popular seaside resort on the Adriatic coast during summer. Situated in the sea at a short distance from the waterline there are many breakwaters made with large rocks, that were placed to preserve the shore from water flood erosion. In the city there are the administrative headquarters of DiCecco Company and the Fodder S.P.A., an equal joint venture partner with the Angelini Group and Procter & Gamble. Culture Every July Pescara holds an international jazz festival. Pescara Jazz was the first Italian summer festival dedicated to jazz music. Since 1969, it has been one of the most important jazz festivals in Europe, as reported by the main dedicated international magazines. Every year between June and July, the city also holds the Flaiano Prizes, one of Italy's international film festivals. Pescara was the birthplace of Gabriele D'Annunzio and Ennio Flaiano. Vittoria Colonna was the Marchioness of Pescara. University Pescara and Chieti are the homes of the G. D'Annunzio University. Pescara is home to the departments of architecture, economics, business administration, quantitative economics, social and legal sciences, modern languages, literatures and cultures, as Chieti, together with the rector and academic senate, is home to the departments of medicine and science of aging, experimental and clinical sciences, neuroscience and imaging, oral health sciences and biotechnology, pharmacy, humanities, arts and social sciences, humanities psychological sciences, engineering and geology for a total of about 31,257 students in the 2011-1. Since 2009, Rome ISIA has a subsidiary in Pescara, training students in the field of industrial design. In the city center is located the headquarters of ICRANET, the International Center for Relativistic Astrophysics Network, an international organization promoting research activities in relativistic astrophysics and related areas. Sports The city has a football team, Pescara Calcio 1936, which in June 2012 was promoted to Serie A, the highest league in Italy. Pescara Calcio, who have played 30 seasons in the Cadet Championship, have spent five previous seasons in Serie A, especially in the 1980s to 90s. Pescara hosted the 2009 Mediterranean Games, having defeated Rijeka, Croatia and Patras, Greece for the privilege. In 2015, from 28 August to 6 September, the first edition of 2015 Mediterranean Beach Games was held in the city. Between 1924 and 1961, Pescara hosted the Coppa Acerbo automobile race, which in 1957 formed the penultimate round of the Formula One World Championship. Since 2011 the Italian edition of the Ironman 70.3 takes place in the city of Pescara, chosen for the characteristics of the territory, for the possibility of building a competition that starts from the sea, continue towards the mountains and ends in the city center. Transport as regards public transport, Pescara has a wide assortment of services, the city benefits from it a very favorable position with regard to roads. Motorways 
The territory between Pescara and Chieti is crossed by two pan-European roads, Autostrada A14 Italy Bologna Taranto and Autostrada A25 Italy Toronto Pescara. Airport Pescara is served from an international airport called Abruzzo Airport Aeroporto di Pescara, that connects the entire region with many Italian and European destinations like Barcelona Girona, Brussels Charleroi, Frankfurt Hahn, Krakow, London Stansted, Paris Beauvais, Milan Bergamo, Copenhagen, Dusseldorf Wies, Milan Lanati, Tirana, Bucharest, Palermo, Catania and Albia. Port Pescara is served by the port of Pescara for fishing, yachting, cargo docking and commercial passenger services. In summer season ferries and hydrofoils to Croatia run primarily by SNAV to Split and Islands in central Dalmatia, but often they set out from the larger and better equipped port of Ortona. Rail the city has four railway stations. Pescara Central Railway Station is the main and largest in Abruzzo, as well as one of the larger railway stations without train terminal in Italy, connecting with some of the major Italian cities like Rome, Milan, Turin, Bologna, Bari, Ancona, Trieste and many other cities. The other stations are Pescara Porta Nuova, Pescara Tribunal and Pescara San Marco. Bus Pescara is served from several bus lines, operated by GTM, Gestione Trasporti Metropolitani, and ARPA, Autolini Regionali Publici Abruzzesi. There is a direct bus line to Roma Tibertina, Rome, via Pescara Central, about a two and a half hour ride. Trolleybus a trolleybus automatic steering system line connecting the city center with its strategic points like Pescara Central Railway Station and the Abruzzo International Airport and other nearby cities is being built. Notable people Giada Colagrande, actress and film director Gabriele D'Annunzio, poet, novelist and politician Giovanni de Benedictus, retired race walker Ennio Flaiano, screenwriter, novelist, journalist Francesco Panzieri, visual effects compositor Floria Sigismundi, Canadian photographer and director Yarno Trulli, former Formula One driver Ildebrando D'Arcangelo, opera singer Marco Verratti, Italian footballer Stefano Piscina, businessman and executive chairman of Alliance Boots Federico Café, economist Eusebio Di Francesco, football manager of his Roma Twin towns Pescara is a twin city with Arcachon, France Miami Beach, United States Lima, Peru Split, Croatia Casali Monferrato, Italy See also Museo d'Arte Moderna Vittoria Colonna Birthplace of Gabriele D'Annunzio Museum Museo Paparella Treccia Devlet References External links Official website Pescara Airport Universita D'Annunzio